Ian, this is the first news release I have ever read that has an exclamation mark. This seems incredible. You're making ammonia. How about we yeah. start there? Yeah, no, it's it's super exciting, Tracy. I, it, you know, and putting the exclamation mark, the editors came back and said, are you sure you want an exclamation mark? And we said, we're sure we want an exclamation mark. This is the biggest piece of news out of Fuel Positive since we started in January of 2021. So, uh, and, and the piece of news that everyone's waiting for, right? Does the system work? This is a, this is a big question with any technology company and it works and it's, we got it validated by third parties and it's producing beautifully and we're now ramping up production um, across the system. So it's very, very exciting news for us. And for those of you new to Fuel Positive, you probably want to know what you're producing. What are you producing and how big is this market? Yeah, this is an $80 billion market in ammonia. 80% um, of it is used uh, all over the world in agriculture. Um, and it is um, an incredibly important uh, element in agriculture to help feed the planet. But it's also one of the most carbon intense manufacturing processes on the planet. So we said there's got to be a better way of doing this. Uh, and we looked specifically at green ammonia and green ammonia that's produced on the farm. So we are the opposite of how the entire industry has run for the last century. Very, very disruptive with great response from farmers all over the world. And speaking of disruptive, if you're not intrigued with green ammonia and the word fuel positive and an exclamation mark, let's talk carbon credits. Absolutely. So the, the beautiful thing about what we're doing and producing where the ammonia, where the green ammonia is going to be used is that it is a pure credit. There is no, uh, there is no complexity in terms of calculating the value of the credit at the end user site. So we make it very, very easy to add the value of the carbon credit to the value of the system. Fuel Positive controls the carbon credit so we can utilize that to help end users defray cost, reduce cost, and also um, for the company, invest those credits and value those credits back in technology development. So we're, we're incredibly well positioned to take advantage of, of uh, carbon credit markets uh, around the world and, and well positioned with one of the best advisors in the world as well on our team, Andre Mech. So, so um, yeah, it's the future of that is very, very compelling to us. Well, you can't lead with that without us asking you a follow-up question. Tell us more about Andre. Why should we be so excited? Well, Andre's been in the um, carbon reduction industry for over two decades. Uh, he is one of the most respected um, uh, engineers in the space. He uh, has been responsible for d drafting and bringing forward many of the carbon uh, reduction and carbon credit policies around the world. So um, he's sought after by, by major and minor corporations and governments to provide guidance, um, a very, very tremendous asset. And we were incredibly lucky to have him uh, join us as a consultant. Well, obviously this ESG element is very compelling to your audience. You've got calls from around the world and governments are starting to line up. I think you just, received your first of undoubtedly what will be many grants from the government. Yeah, no, super excited. The first grant that we were, that was confirmed was from the government of Manitoba, where our first system will be in place uh, later this year. Um, so that was amazing. Uh, and we have tremendous uh, reach into the federal government of Canada um, in various departments who are really, really interested in what we're doing. So we expect that we'll get um, traction there and and subsequent announcements related to those uh, very exciting relationships. So that's that's great news as well. So what should we expect next? You've got an exclamation, we are producing. So I guess the next one is we are selling. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's a, a really good point. So we've got over 200 systems um, in serious levels of discussion and interest to purchase. We've got the first 30 systems very firmly uh, in place. Uh, we expect shortly to be taking uh, major deposits on those initial systems. Um, and then we'll, we're moving from pre-revenue to revenue, the whole 
game changes for us, obviously, and and with a lot of excitement, um, a lot of interest, as you said, around the world um, in multiple sectors. So a very, very exciting uh, uh, future, uh, near future. I just want to add one more thing. With your news release, I, I found this quite interesting. You're the first decentralized, containerized green ammonia system in the world. That, that must be worthy of at least one question. Can you talk to us a little bit more about that? Yeah, no, I, I mean, th th there's something exciting uh, to have first mover advantage for sure. And there are a number of companies out there trying to do this, but they have not reached the level of, of completion readiness that, that we have. Um, and I think that it'll be a huge differentiator going forward for us as well, um, as early adopters are really interested in, in attaching themselves to technology that is, that is breakthrough and disruptive. So, um, so we're very, very excited about that aspect of it. Well, Ian, it's always what a pleasure. And we are certainly watching you. And for everyone out there going, oh, I need to learn more about this, please go to their website. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Tracy.